So after getting all of that out of the way, I thought I may as well just show you the, what the deck can do at um, full power using an extra deck, cards on the side. Basically, this is how I would play the deck if I took it to a tournament. There are a lot of things in this deck I'd like to add or change around, but currently I want to have an accurate representation and not want to bore you guys with uh, showing you proxies and stuff. So I'm going to be talking to you about the card choices I have and why I play them as well as um, cards I would rather play instead of certain options, but ones that work just fine for me right now as it is. I'll go over my side deck, which will be used up of a majority of the cards you actually find in the structure deck, as well as other cards you get in the structure deck, which you can consider using instead of any of the more expensive cards shown here. But without further ado, we'll go into the main deck. So triple Machina Citadel. He's a level 10 Earth Machine, 3000 attack, and you can special summon him from the graveyard if an Earth Machine monster is destroyed on your side of the field. You can only be special summoned by card effects, but you can summon him off of cards like uh, Monster Reborn, which is really nice. He has a quick effect to let you destroy any other machine monster you control and destroy all monsters on your opponent's field with equal or less attack than that monster destroyed. He's a super powerful card and uh, he's definitely worth running at two or three. Three Air Raider, you can discard this card from, uh, you can discard another machine or from your hand to special summon it. It has a quick effect where you can destroy a machine monster you control and special summon any machine from your deck with a different name and an equal or lower level than the monster, than the monster and then you destroy the targeted monster. So you use a quick effect, bring out a monster from your deck and then destroy the monster that you targeted. This can target itself as well. Irradiate is basically exactly the same as Air Raider, except you can only use its effect on your turn. They have quite a strong defense, so you normally want to be summoning Air Raider and Irradiator in defense position. <clears throat> Triple Storage. This card is really fantastic for bumping up your field presence on your opponent's turn and, your, and on your own turn. So if this guy is normal or special summoned, you can bring out, bring out any machine in your graveyard in defense mode, but it's... Um, Effects are negated for the rest of the turn. And once per turn, you can bounce a opponent's spell or trap and one of your other machine and monsters back to the hands, which is pretty fantastic. Um, this card works really well in combination with cards like uh, Irradiator and Aerator, especially in your opponent's turn, to really bring out more board presence and, and really push your opponent to try and clear more monsters off your board as well as helping you go into rank four plays or whatever plays you want to make. Triple gear frame, this guy's the rotor of the deck and if he is equipped with his union effect, he protects the equipped monster by uh, being destroyed. So you can destroy him instead. Uh, triple fortress, this guy can summon himself out of hand or graveyard by discarding monster, uh, machine monsters whose levels equal eight or more. Um, this guy is quite a, a good card to have on the field, mainly because if he's targeted, uh, you can look. You can uh, discard uh, one. You can look at your opponent's hand and discard a card from, from their hand. So, if this guy is on the field and he's targeted, then you get free knowledge of what your opponent's doing. And also, if he's destroyed by battle, you can target any card your opponent uh, controls and destroy it. So. This guy will will uh, have a blowback effect on your opponent if they get rid of it. And that's always nice to have, as well as the fact is you can bring him out and combo him off. He's really good for, for comboing in this deck. Let me just put that out there now. Really, really good. Triple Mega Form. You can use one of his effects uh, per turn. You can either swap him out for any other Machina from your deck that's not Mega Form. Or if a Machina Fortress leaves your side of the field you can um, bring him out of the graveyard by banishing the Machina Fortress that just left. Like I said prior in, in the opening of the structure deck, this can work really well if you use your Machina Fortress on the field as link material. One cannon, you can basically special summon this out of your hand really easily. Triple Recycler. Now I would also be playing Scrap Golem and uh, Mecha Phantom Beast Olaen, but it works just fine um, for getting Citadel into the graveyard 
and then making scrap wave in place to break your opponent's board apart by bringing another another scrap recycler out. So it's not all doom and gloom, and it also helps you bring uh, your used gear frames back into the deck for additional card advantage and draw a card. Uh, double Nibiru, um, I would play three, but the the third copy is in the side deck, which I'll show you uh, after getting through this. Triple Redeployment, this searches two um, Machina monsters or Machina cards, depending on what you discard. This card is staple, it's fantastic, and it can discard itself to get an extra advantage. So, run it, so having duplicates in your hand isn't always a bad thing. Double Desires, um, we want to draw as much as possible in this deck. We want to see the cards we need. Double trade them because we're running a lot of level eights in this deck. <laughs> and a lot of level eights in this deck actually benefit from being in the graveyard. Uh, free supply squad. More times often than not, you will be drawing off of this card. And it's just a nice little thing to have. Especially if you draw it in multiples, you can get additional cards. But like I said, this, this is in no way like cards that I... Ha if I had the cards like Scrap Golan, I Scra Scrap Golan, Mecha Phantom Beast, O Lion, and other really good draw cards or, or power cards, I'd be playing them in, uh, instead of this, or or things like Impermanence or stuff like that. But it's up to your personal preference. You can play a lot more aggro cards than this if you want. Overdrive is a fantastic card because it essentially works as a another copy of Air Raider. So you can activate it to target a machine monster you control and special summon a machina with a different name from your hand or deck, destroy the targeted monster, and also, uh, not during the same turn of course, you can banish Overdrive from your graveyard to shuffle any three machine monsters back into your deck from the graveyard to draw a card. That includes extra deck monsters, so that's pretty fantastic. <laughs> now moving on to the extra deck now, the extra deck's quite important for actually getting some board presence on, so I'm just going to go over it for you right now. Okay, first of all, Union Carrier. By no means do you need to play this card, but I find it has got me out of so many sticky situations because it boosts up Machina Citadel to 4,000 attack, and sometimes your opponent has really strong monsters in the board that are over 3,000 attack that you just can't get rid of with uh, Citadel's effect. And you can just equip Gear Frame, blow your opponent's monsters up, and um, the Gear Frame dies, and then you can just stab with the Citadel for, for extra damage, which is really cool. Instead of playing this, you can play the new unauthorized reactivation card, which is here, which also lets you equip gear frame from the deck as a quick play spell. I just prefer Union Carrier, mainly because it's an easy link monster to go into, and it essentially you're able to access the unauthorized reactivation effect for, um, for free, basically, for having two monsters on the field. Uh, Platinum. You can't use him as link material, uh, the turn he's link summoned, much like Union Carrier, but he helps you bring um, additional low-level machine monsters out of your hand when you really need to. Cards like Scrap Recycler to get the additional um, monsters into the graveyard. So I found that this works really well for me, which is quite nice. Scrap Wyvern, we all know how it combos off with scrap cards. We all know the aggro it can put on your opponent, and it's a really cool... Um, combo piece to have and once you're done with scrap wyvern you can always link it off and link a nightmare off or something to go into a really big link monster nightmare package still really useful prioritizing link monsters as always avramax really strong monster to have gigagant x this can search any level four or lower machine type monster from your deck so yeah pretty good tornado dragon for back row the Gares, in case you need to unbrick more or put some extra damage on, on your monsters. Dweller, they help floodgate your opponent. Draco Sack, in the off chance that you have more than one Machina Fortress on the field, you can overlay them both into that and have additional protection by using the tokens, and also use Draco Sack as a way to um, destroy your opponent's cards. Now, you can play cards like Flare Metal or Big Eye instead of this, it's entirely your personal preference. Uh, one Gus, one Dora, because sometimes you'll um, not have enough damage on board and you'll have multiple Citadels out. You can burn for game or you can have them overlay to protect a big monster on your side of the field. You can also, I'd highly recommend playing the rank 11 train because that can put additional damage on board. And you're also, you can also, because machines are predominantly Earth Machine cards except Possessed Storage, you can play like the train 
um, package, so like urgent schedule, bullet train, railroad stampede, all of this. So that's a really nice thing to uh, consider. Zingisu is probably the most important extra deck monster in this deck because it's a rank 8 and you can protect your citadel from killing itself by detaching material for Ding from Dingursu, and also Dingursu is an incredibly powerful aggro card for getting your opponent's cards off the field and out of your way. I highly recommend getting this card, and there's not really an excuse for anyone not to have this at the moment, um, because it got reprinted in Dual Overload. And also, um, I went to YCS last year, um, didn't do very well, I entered with Salaman Great, uh, you probably might know. Um, but I got this Dingusu signed by Simo, uh, who we met and talked to, and he's a generally really nice guy. Um, and yeah, it was just a really, really fantastic time. Um, albeit this was at a time of, of my life that was really horrible for me, but seeing Simo that day um, really helped put uh, my spirits up. And if he's watching this, then hey, thank you very much. Now, moving on to the side, this is used predominantly with cards from the structure deck, um, except for these three. So, just the one Veiler Ogre and the Spare Nibiru. The triple Jizakiru. The three Cosmic for back row hate. Three Solemn Strike, in case you need to go first, as well as the Trap Trick. In case you need to go first and you want to get that machine as um, overdrive out of your deck. Now quickly on to other cards from the structure deck that you can use. Uh, unauthorized reactivation, we went into using this instead of uh, Union Carry if you don't have it. Limiter removal because Citadel, uh, having that go up to 6,000 attack, there's pretty much going to be no instance where you can't clear your opponent's board. <laughs> Unless of course they're all face down then. Yay. Avarice, amazing reprint. But this, but you basically don't need to play it because of Overdrive. Magnet Reverse can get Citadel out of your graveyard. Back to the front is still an amazingly powerful trap card. Defense Perimeter isn't, isn't that great, but it can help protect your lower level Machinas as well as help recycle uh, Machinas from your grave back to your hand. And the Machina Soldier because sometimes you don't have monsters on the field and you want to get that additional board presence up. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. That's been Machina. Uh, the deck was just released today, but some places in the world. I was going to have this deck a lot earlier, um, but sadly, uh, due to postage and stuff, like I mentioned before, in the early parts of this video, um, I was unable to, so... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and that's going to be Big Al from Exiles, signing out.